Hey guys, Josh here, and I got another do review for you today, and this series is where I review things from a dude's perspective, not from a critter's perspective, to let you guys know if they appeal to normal dudes, like me, like you, like whoever, and whether or not they suck. So, alright guys, let's get to it. Today's review is the movie Looper. It just came out a month ago or something, I only know, actually I don't know when I'm going to load this, so don't listen to it. It came out at some point in time, sometime recently. So it stars J uh, Joseph Gordon Lovett and Bruce Willis, and I'm gonna stop right here and actually say that Bruce Willis is one of the best guy actors of all time. So guess what? Bruce Willis gets a fuck yeah. And now I'm gonna move on a little bit and say Joseph Gordon Lovett. You may have first seen him on Third Rock from the Sun, a kind of okay funny show, but whatever. But he uh, has turned into quite a good dude actor himself. You may also have seen him in The Dark Knight Rises as Robin or John Blake, if I ruin that for you, tough shit. So, I'm actually going to go here and give Joseph Gordon-Levitt a fuck yeah himself, because he he is is very good. He's becoming, he's moving into his own, and he has turned out to be a damn good actor. So, anyways, the idea behind this movie. Uh, it takes place in the year 2044, and I'm going to go through what kind of what the trailer says, so don't spoil it at this moment, but it takes place in 2044. There's these uh, people called Loopers, who are specialized assassins who, at that time, 2044, time travel has not been invented yet, but 30 years in the future, in 2074, it has been invented. So these loopers have been con contracted to the gangs and crime bosses in the future will send their people back that they capture back in time so the loopers can shoot them and dispose of their bodies so it's like that person never existed. There's no... There's no trail or anything, so please can't track him back to it. So that is what he, they do. Joseph Gordon-Levitt is a looper. And when they sign up into their contract, they agree to that at some point in time, their loop will be closed, which means that they themselves in the future will be sent back in time for them to kill themselves. So Bruce Willis, who is him in the future, finds out that they're going to be doing They come in, they capture him, and in the, in the time, they kill his wife. But Bruce Willis ends up kind of like delaying it and killing those people and sends himself back in time and ends up kind of tricking his former self and escapes with the intent of going and finding a guy who's his kid at the time back in 2044. Oh, this is a spoiler section now. To find him because that kid grows up to be a super telekinetic crazy person who takes over all the people and is trying to kill all the loopers and all that shit. So he, his intent is to go find a kid when the kid is little and kill him so that his wife doesn't die in the future. Well, Bruce Willis of the present, the younger Joseph Gordon-Levitt, decides that, no, I want to protect these kids because, you know, it, it doesn't have to happen that way. So Bruce Willis is trying to kill him. He's trying to protect them. Uh, they end up finding this farm where this chick is. I don't know what the hell her name is, but she is the mother of the super telekinetic freak-ass kid who ends up killing all the people, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt tries to keep Bruce Willis from killing that kid. And I don't want to ruin the movie for you, but he stops him. You can imagine how he stops him. I, if it was me personally, I would have killed the kid myself, just saying. I would have saved myself from the future from having to do it. But yeah, uh, it's... That that's essentially the story. Some of it has a spoiler, some of it isn't. But the uh, makeup and stuff in this movie is really good. They actually took Joseph Gordon-Levitt and like put all his prosthetics on his face to make him look more like Bruce Willis, and he looks like him, and he does a damn good job acting like him and impersonating him, which is awesome. So, but this movie, you guys are gonna like it. It's getting a fuck yeah. If you haven't seen it yet, go see it. You will enjoy it. And all right, guys, thanks for watching.